As someone who checks out hundreds of Etsy shops every month, I see a lot of common mistakes happening, which could either hurt your sales or stop you from getting sales, but could also get you in trouble, not just with Etsy, but also lawyers and the police. So in today's video, I wanna share four of these big mistakes to avoid when selling on Etsy. Hey there Etsy seller, I'm Sam and welcome to the Squeak and Shout channel. Let's get into these four big mistakes to avoid when you're selling on Etsy. First mistake to avoid is focusing on quantity of listings rather than quality. And this is something that I see so many of the Etsy experts or gurus telling you, more specifically the print on demand ones. And that's basically like list one to two listings every day, get listings in your shop. But the problem is if you're just throwing things in your shop without knowing if firstly, if that's what shoppers are actually looking for and actually creating quality products, then you're gonna be spending so much time and money because obviously it costs to list things in your Etsy shop. You're gonna be spending so much time and money listing things, throwing listings into your Etsy shop that aren't gonna actually help you get sales. And the other piece of bad advice I see around this is relist your listings every day. There is no need to do this. It doesn't help you in any way, shape or form. So save your money and avoid this hack or tactic that people seem to throw out that does nothing for your shop. Instead, spend your time wisely and instead doing product research and product validation. This is where you not only research what is currently selling on Etsy, but you're also researching what shoppers are actually wanting to buy right now, as well as looking for the keywords that they're using to search for them. And by doing this, you can still list, let's say one to two products a week, but you know that those one to two products that you're going to list are going to sell. So you're therefore not only using your precious time, which you probably don't have a lot of, but you're also gonna be saving money because rather than listing 10 products a week, if you list one to two high quality in-demand products, you're gonna be getting your return on that investment in terms of the listing fee back sooner because those listings are going to be able to achieve consistent sales because you know there's stuff that people are searching for and therefore they're gonna sell. The second mistake that I see way too often is having far too repetitive photos in your photo section. The thing that I see more often than not is basically the same product photo just with a different background for like five to 10 photos. One, this isn't pleasurable to look through as a customer, but also it's not helping you convert shoppers into actual customers. It's not helping you convert views into sales because if it's the same photo, it's gonna give the same information. Instead, you need to think about what questions shoppers might have looking at your photo that they need or want to know before they buy, or the concerns that they have around the product and obviously buying it online. So for instance, if you sell something that is fragile and could be damaged during shipping, there should not only be photo proof, but also marketing messages within your photo section that communicate and show that the item is going to be packaged protectively and therefore it will arrive safely. Now you might be going, Sam, I already do that. It's in my description. Here's the thing. Pretty much nobody reads the description. We are in 2023, a visual communication kind of audience. All of us are, you're watching this YouTube video right now. This is visual, obviously it's sound as well and there's text on the screen, but pretty much it is visual. There's me here on the screen feeding you into your eyes the information. Your Etsy shoppers and customers are exactly the same way. And this is where your photo section needs to be your biggest marketing message communication hub. So you might have things like this inside your description, but especially when we talk about 67% of Etsy shoppers using their mobile device, have you looked on the Etsy mobile site or in their app recently the description is super hard to find for one and you can't even like tell that it's a link that you need to click on so even people who know that the description is there it's not easy to find and for shoppers who are new to etsy or maybe they just don't know that there's a description they're not going to go looking for it and they're certainly not going to read it third mistake that i see way too many etsy sellers doing and this is running sales all the time and this is the one that could get you in trouble with the law because this is actually illegal and against the law in so many countries. So for instance, where I am in the UK, there are a variety of laws, but here's a screenshot of the section of one of them, which basically says you can't sell a product at this price, but it's always on sale at this price. Now, obviously you'll need to check about your own country, but this is pretty much widespread across the world. They can't have misleading pricing information. So avoid getting into trouble with not only the law, the police, Etsy, and all the other things that you could get in trouble with by doing this. You can't just list a product and keep running sales on it. 
Sales promotions aren't going to help you get sales if, for instance, you missed out number two, which is actually having a photo section that is going to help convert customers. If you're not doing that, a sale's not going to make someone buy anyway. The fourth mistake that I see way too many, especially new Etsy sellers doing, is spending money on Etsy ads that they either don't have the budget for or that they just can't afford. And there is no quicker way to burn yourself out or basically bankrupt your business. Because Etsy ads aren't this magical thing that get you sales. They're not the thing that is going to be the difference between you getting sales and not sales. If you're not able to get sales without ads, you certainly aren't going to get sales with ads. So this kind of ties into especially the first two mistakes again. Rather than running ads hoping to get seen by shoppers, you need to think about and make sure that you have done product research and validation to check that what you're adding into your shop is what people are looking for and what they want to buy. And then obviously making sure that you're using that information to create your listing photos and also your SEO so that it is found by those people. So the tool that I always recommend for keyword research is eRank, which has a free version. But even if you use the eRank basic, which is only five, like six dollars a month, basically, it's five ninety nine. Um, if you spend your money there, that's per month rather than a pound a day for Etsy ads, you're already better off doing the research in terms of money and time than throwing money at Etsy ads and hoping for the best. So be sure, especially when you're a new Etsy seller, that you're using your money in the right places, the places that are going to give you a return on investment, i.e. the money that you put into it is going to come back to you and bigger. So for product validation, obviously this is research, there's tons of free tools. By the way, I have a whole video about free tools to help you start your Etsy shop, so I'll make sure that I'll put that as a link in the description of this video. So yeah, don't just throw money at ads thinking that that's going to fix the problem. The problem that you have isn't going to be the thing that ads fix. There is going to be a bigger problem in your shops, such as shoppers aren't actually looking to buy your products or potentially your SEO is wrong, which by the way, if your SEO is wrong, your ads won't work properly either because the information that's in your listing is what helps your ads perform well. So when your SEO is correct, your ads will work in terms of you will actually see a return on investment. You will be seeing sales for the ad spend that you spend. And then you'll also be getting all the other juicy benefits, such as all the sales that you're getting will improve your listing quality score, which will improve your rank in the Etsy search results, which will help you get sales organically, i.e. you don't need to run all ads all the time because you're getting sales free. So that is the end of this video. Those have been four mistakes that I see way too many Etsy sellers doing that you should avoid at all costs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to not miss other videos just like this one. Speaking of which, I recommend checking out this video next, which is all about Etsy SEO. I'll see you over there. Bye.